the relationship is way much cooler when you have a young mom and um when you have an older mom like there are things you're certain they won't understand and stuff <laughs> hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new welcome i'm nina the simple kenyan girl make sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get everything coming right your way starting from pregnancy we go to parenting we go to healthy tips we go to everything nice so if you're new welcome i'm the nina so let's get started today as you have seen on the topic it's um a very very contradicting topic uh, in this new generation because most people are choosing to have kids young and um, and other people who are older are choosing to have kids older so yeah let's see the pros and cons of having kids young well and old I'm not gonna talk about finances because as you all know we have a very good example of a billionaire that's Kylie she is a billionaire she is 24 years she's she just had her second child that is a baby boy i believe yeah and she's young so is it all about finances um no so let's get to the good stuff that is the others and yep so what do i mean by having your child early um this is the 20s i'm talking about early 20s and having late having your child late i mean from 30 35 40 yeah so i hope that's a very very nice way to combine them so yeah okay i'm a young mom so of course i'm gonna focus on more positives than negatives but if if you feel free on commenting down below what you think about the young parents or the older parents comment down all of them you are allowed come on come on go to the comment section comment down your thoughts and yeah i'll appreciate so what are the pros of having your child at a younger age one you are better equipped to handle sleepless nights by this i mean when the baby wakes up after every two hours you can handle it when the baby wakes up after every one hour maybe they are suffering from colic they are crying a lot you can handle it from going even a day or two without sleep um another thing is as a young mom you are like a certain it will be less complications when you're carrying a pregnancy and um, less complication when you're going to the delivery room and delivering that baby um number three your kids are likely to have active grandparents you know where i'm going now so if you're a young mom let's say you give birth to your child at a, at the age of 20s and um in 20 years you'll be in your 40s and maybe that child will have gotten a child by that time so i am sure any grandparent who is at their 40s as of the moment they are super active you spoil your grandkids you are out there and jumping like you are active all the way yeah another thing and this is like the greatest blessing of seeing your great great grandkids another example your 20s you've gotten your baby girl at 20s and then when that baby girl hits their 20s they get a baby <laughs> and that baby gets a baby so when you're 20 your baby and your baby is 20 that's 40 by 40 you're a grandparent and that means by 60 you'll be a great grandparent that is such a blessing seeing three generations oh my goodness 
uh, please don't take it for granted because uh, that is wow like hmm. that means probably when you hit your 80s you won't be remembering a lot but you can see the other generation four generations in your eyes wow like what other blessings could you ask for only okay okay let's go to the next point <laughs> As a young mom, you have low expectations, um, especially on everything, because most people tend to criticize you for having your kids at a young age, and they think you're just a child. So when you have those kids, you don't expect like them giving you the world back, like taking care of you because you're old and stuff. But you're just there, like letting them live their lives. Yeah. Um. You enjoy life after kids. Of course, when you get a kid at 20 years and let's say you want to go marathon, you have your first kid at 20, your second kid at 22, your third kid at 24, your fourth kid at 26. After that, when they are when they are when you're on your 40s, you're still young, you're still beautiful. You can travel as far as you want like they're adults as of that moment they can live their lives and you live yours by traveling and exploring the world or just having fun with your life yeah yeah that's enjoying life after kids okay another thing you have more control over the age gap of the babies by this i mean you're not worried about your your eggs getting old and harvesting your eggs is not cheap it's quite expensive um but when you're young you are in control of hmm, maybe i'll have the next kid next year and you're certain like by god's grace it will happen and uh it's just easy uh-huh so another thing you will totally be mistaken for being a big sister trust you me mama when you're having kids when you're young and by the time your baby hits 40, uh, hits 20, you'll be looking flawless as of that time. And one thing I've realized, when you have kids young, your body like works for you. You can bounce back if you want. If you don't want, it's fine. But you can just be able to be in the season and you know how to dress your body. What better way to ask than that? Yeah. All right um you have a different perspective of the world totally when you're in your 20s yes you didn't enjoy life much you just have you had your baby um and as of that time like things are rolling and rolling and by the time that kid hits 15 years let me tell you mama you'll be up to date because you're still young your brain isn't so tired like it can function super quick like it knows this is on trend let me get there and see what's happening i'm sure moms who are in their 30s as of at, as of this moment and they have a teenager they know what tiktok is and they they are there and um yeah i'm just i'm just like seeing the better side of it yeah yeah so let's go to the cons the cons now is not is not the beautiful part it's the hmm, the challenges that comes with being young with the with being a young mom one thing you are less worried <laughs> i don't know why it's a con but um this is just not based on my experience i've done a little research about it because it's not okay to just uh pass on my judgment according to my experience but it's good to just do a little bit of digging and see the advantages and disadvantages of multiple peoples so they say you get less worried about the future because you're like in the mode of not caring you're not wise yeah but i think everyone is different and we are definitely wise depending on the experiences that you've had in life and yeah so another con is we have less time in building our careers as of the moment let's just be honest my career is on a pause because I have to take care of these kids. And I am not complaining about that because I know with God's timing, 
by that time I hit probably my 30s I'll be able to get back on track on my career yeah another thing is less patience we are less patience and this I can actually testify to it before you get that patience like it takes practice practice to just be patient and listen to that kid and uh, because at the moment, we have lots of things. We have social media. You have to keep up to date with the social life. You have to keep up to date to what's happening in your career so that when you go back, like, you don't get too back. If you're studying online, you have to have time for that. Like, it's you have lots of lots of things to do. And by the time that kid, like, comes over to, yes, you have to write, like, practice to just be in the moment so that you don't miss out okay yeah so now let's go to the pros of having a baby when you're older one financial security and i don't mean when you're younger you don't have financial security as of the moment most young people are smart like super super smart by the time someone hits their 20s they have they have built their dream home they have they have everything in order financially yeah so but as you get older i think you're able to manage it better yeah so that's one pro like you go you got the financial security you're sure you're certain hmm. by the time and this i'm talking from 35 years 40 years who are having babies i have a very good example Jeannie mai hmm. she is absolute amazing and she just got her baby um yeah and she's 42 so and i am certain she has financial security yeah like managing well of the finances yeah so we have you spend more time with children why you don't want to miss out you don't want to feel excluded and i'll give you this when you are young, an older mother, you are scared of losing touch with your child, like, because they don't want to mingle with the old ma, like, like you know. When I am sure of this, like, when we were in high school or primary school, and you see someone's mom, and they are coming, and they're like, "Oh, your mom is way older, or your mom is way younger," and like that gives you that vibe of just you want to chill with the cool mom kind of feeling yeah yeah i'm not shaming anyone i'm just stating facts yeah and i'm sure when you're going to pick up your kid as a young mom like your kid is like oh yeah like i don't know but it just depends on the bond that you've created but i am certain like the the relationship is way much cooler when you have a young mom and um when you have an older mom, like there are things you're certain they won't understand and stuff. Here, yeah. mm -hmm. that's that's the cons. That's the cons. You see where I'm going. This is when you're older, you have a higher risk of losing a pregnancy or your life during childbirth. So that's a con. But I am certain the technology that's upcoming, especially dealing with childbirth. It's saving lots of lives and that's like amazing because this gives women the choice the choice to put their family first and then their careers later or career first and then family later wow i am so proud of where we have come from especially as women because way back women used to have their kids way early you have to get married off like by force and stuff but as of the moment like we have more voice and we are listened to and that's the most important thing and i am so grateful to be in this generation like experiencing all this craziness and the funny stuff and the cool stuff and the just everything is a blessing and yeah so i am so pumped you joined me today next topic i'm gonna talk about teenage pregnancy disadvantages because i am sure from 2020 we have had a lot a lot a lot of pregnancy especially from children in high school and yeah 
I am sure this topic you don't want to miss it so please turn the notification bell and you won't miss it I am so glad you joined me today I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye take care stay safe